We improve to show everybody that uh, I can be uh, one of the best defenders in the world. I'm Kali Dukulibali from SS Napoli. Finish him! Finish him! I like this sensation. I'm Kali Dukulibali from SS Napoli. What's happening, boys? And welcome to the first ever Serie A Player of the Month Players Way View episode. That is right. We are gathered here today for an 88 rated Kalidou Koulibaly, a plus 65 total in game stat upgrade over his 86 downgraded card going into FIFA 22. Had a higher rated, obviously, in FIFA 21. Uh, and today we're going to find out if he might be worth the 165k coin price tag, the 165,000 coin price tag, uh, which is pretty damn steep if we're considering early game. There's an SBC in the, uh, 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 one of the SBCs is an 87 rated. Most of you guys probably don't even have an 87 rated squad at this point in the game right now. However, fodder is at the absolute lowest. The market is on the bins. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually a saying, but uh, you know, you can pick up 85 rated cards for 3,000 coins. You can pick up, I think, a Wojnia Chesney 87 for I think like uh, something like 65 or 7,000. Uh, Chiellini's 86 rated card goes for like six or seven k. So the market is on the absolute floor, which makes me a little bit scared because this would be a this would be a way more expensive SB SBC once the market. It rises. Uh, but today, uh, like I said, we're going to take a look at this card and find out if he might be worth it. And I think the question mark that everyone has in their minds is how much better is he than the 86? Um, and is he worth 165,000 coins? He's there for 13 days, so he's there for almost two weeks, which is kind of nice. We have rewards coming out today. By the way, good luck with your rivals rewards and then foot chance rewards next week. Uh, so we're going to have, you know, and then your squid battles rewards on Sunday. You know, you're going to have some cards to work with, but whether or not you want to slap them into an uh, uh, untradeable card that you can never make any money back on is going to be a judgment call that you're going to have to make my Serie A boys. I know you're already thinking about it, and that's probably why you clicked onto the video. So let's just dive right into it. Let's just also slap a Mad Lad like on the Epi for this little yellow duck that I have next to my desk. Let's also slap a Mad Lad like on the video for this uh, Philip Lom card that Dr. Dean sent me, and it's absolutely incredible, and it's actually autographed. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So Let's talk about the Koulibaly card. So first off, haven't had a whole lot of experience with his regular 86 card, so you guys got to know that off the bat. But I am looking at it. It's a 65 total in-game stat upgrade. And, you know, he's got the two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, nothing changes, medium high. Love that for the work rates. Um, and uh, we get over to the stats. Now... I will say pace isn't everything, and I think most of you guys who, who have picked up the game know that every, uh, you know, uh, can pick that up pretty much right off the bat if you played a couple games. Pace is not everything this year, although 76 acceleration, which goes up to 86, and then 99 sprint speed um, probably doesn't leave a whole lot to be desired. I mean, he's going to be absolutely rapid in game, or hopefully he's going to be rapid in game. The acceleration, 86, and the 99 combo should be good. Uh, it just is a thing with a Napoli player that if you're a center back, you're just going to have low finishing. We've got his teammate, Custos Manolas who's got 25 finishing uh, and pretty much the uh, the same shooting stats. So if you go to Napoli as a as a defensive player, prepare to have your pace, prepare to have your shooting stats just absolutely nerfed. So passing stats aren't that great. 67 short passing, 67 long passing, same thing with Manolas. Um, and if there's one thing that you would like to have with a center back this year, given how important passing is, you probably want some better passing stats, but at the end of the day with your center back, you don't need him to be uh, Chabi or Iniesta, right? So um, that is uh, shooting and passing, so not the greatest there. I will say though, out of the 65 total in-game stats, four of the 65 total in-game stat upgrade from the 86 to 88 are compacted into the shot power. He goes from 55 shot power to 59. Like, who cares? Like, I'm... You know what I mean? Like, I'd much rather just have plus one shooting upgrades across the board and then redistribute that wealth into defending. Maybe a little bit more acceleration. Maybe a little bit better dribbling. Looking over there at, at the 53 dribbling. That kind of scares the hell out of me. We're going to find out if it's worth it. 86 reactions, 71 dribbling, 85 composure. Ball control, again, this is not a guy that you want the ball at his feet often. You want to get it, you know, you want to push it upfield and maybe get it out to your wing back or one of your midfielders. And then we go to the defending stats, which is why you're paying for this card. 89, one of the highest ratings of the game. 87 interception goes up to 97. Heading accuracy goes over 90. Defensive awareness, 97. Standing tackle, 99. And sliding tackle, 99 as well. Th these are the most important stats for a center back this year. Has the 96 strength. Would prefer the aggression to be a little bit higher, but we take the 85 aggression with 85. Uh, and then the stamina is 72 with the power header trait. So this is what the squad is looking like right now. If you run a Koulibaly, you just are going to go with a Kostos Manolas. You just are going to go with a Victor Rojimin. And I want to test out the Dries Merens because he's a card uh, that I wanted to look at early in the game. 3,700 coins, finesse shot outside the foot shot trait. We're going to see if he can bang them in from, uh, we're going to see if he can bang them in from distance. 
we've also got ourselves a cheeky little Pedro coming back uh, back at it again. So let's get into a couple matches here. Let's find out if he is worth it. If you consider that 86 Rafa Varane has minus 155 total in-game stats, goes for... 287,000 coins, obviously much more linkable. If you consider that the Ivan Cordoba foot hero card goes for nearly 500,000 coins, the price of 160k for a Koulibaly who looks like a really, really, if not the best uh, Serie A uh, center back um, and one of the best center backs in the game, doesn't make it look that crazy. But alas, that doesn't change the fact that 165, 170,000 coins is a lot of coins. But match number one with the Vafanculo boys, c'est tout de all right, so the first test for Koulibaly is going to be Marcus Rashford. Uh, does anyone else get like personally offended when the FU comes up on the on on the screen? Um, okay, so we're gonna go with the we're gonna go with the Kaladu Koulibaly again. You're not using him for ball control, right? He does have uh, does look like he's got some saucy pace. And again, one of the things we wanted to test out is the uh, the Dries Merden card. So I don't know. I mean, I I think the biggest takeaway is that it's kind of cool that we finally have ourselves a, a Serie A player of the month. I can't. Did we ever have it? Stop! Alright, so first off, Koulibaly's positioning on Lukaku. There we go. Alright, probably do Koulibaly. Nice little interceptions. And again, has not, you know, doesn't have the craziest passing, doesn't have the craziest shooting. Um, but uh, he can he can move up, he can move the ball upfield. And that's, I mean, <laughs> what the hell was that, dude? And I mean, it's a conversation that we had pretty much, and it's a conversation that we had many times through FIFA 21. Is an SB, you know, is an SBC overpriced or is it expensive? There we go. That's Koulibaly and Lukaku, one of the strongest players in game. Solid, very, very solid ch challenge from Lukaku again, dispossessing one of the strongest, you know, one one of the strongest attacking players in the game. So I mean that is obviously uh, that you, know, you you do want to see that you don't want to you don't want to see him getting bullied off the ball, and then Merdens. So far, I think we've had three finesses with Merdens, and freaking Mendy's risen to the occasion, and also wildly uh, wildly inaccurate. It could also have something to do with the fact that I woke up literally 20 minutes ago. Woo! Lovely little send-in. For those of you guys that want to know what pass that was, that was LB double tap uh, triangle. Let me see what he feels like on the ball, actually. So this is left analog stick dribbling. I mean, I mean, again, as a center back, like, that's good enough, yeah? Good positioning. Love, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what you want from your center back is a guy that you don't have to worry about. And as of right now, Koulibaly has shown that. Nice. Here's Mardens. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm out here winning the crossbar challenge. I'm not, I'm not getting any goals though. So, I mean, if, 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 if hitting the crossbar three times counted as a goal, we'd be all right, but. There we go. Is that a, is that a goal for Victor Oshiman? One nil. The Victor Oshiman Naruto run. Let's freaking go, dude. Probably taking the ball away. Easy as she does it. That's that. That's light. Uh, I'm tapping light circle on Koulibaly there. That's literally. That's literally. I think that's literally four crossbars, dude. Go on, finish him, finish him! Hey, listen. That's Marcus Rashford right there. You know, he was caught, uh, you know, both him and Manolis were caught out there and he managed to catch up and, uh, and, and and knock the ball off his foot just as he got there. So I'd say that's a pretty elite level center back play right there, especially on one of the more OP players. Rendered his uh, rendered his Rashford and Lukaku basically useless. Worth 160k? Not, can't really say right now. Let's get into match number two. Let's see if he can be uh, as consistent as he is in match number one. Can we see if we can hit a finesse? Right, here we go. Timo Werner. Nice little... Lo lovely challenge. Probably with another interception, bro. This guy's freaking all over the place. If this doesn't go in, I'm dude. Have 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 the finesse's been nerfed already? All right, I guess. I guess. 
I guess we just gotta do what we did in FIFA 21. Here's the sprint speed. Erling Haaland, one of the, you know, one of the, one of the faster, uh, one of the faster and more potent strikers in the game. Almost had a goal on us there. Again, I just, this guy's formation. Oof! No shot. Now that is the kind of goal you want to see from a Naruto run Dries Mertens. There we go. That's the finesse. Belgian Marco Royce. He is what Marco Royce would be with pace. Okay, we get aggressive with him. Oh my god. Alright, a yellow. Yo, no, don't leave, dude. Manma, don't leave my guy. I, I, I'd go so far as to say he's worth it. I would go so far as to say Dreezy Dries is worth the 36, 3700 coins. My dear word. The Dries Merdin's finesse shots are absolutely cracked. Go on! Finish him! Finish him! <laughs> the Dries Merdin's finesse hattie. As fun as that is to score a goal like that, I don't deserve to be scoring that, dude. A, a lot of pressure is taken off of Manolas and Koulibaly because of the fact that we've got Lazzari and Spinazzola, who are, in my opinion, maybe the two best, uh, maybe the two best uh, wingback uh, wing combos in FIFA 22, man. What to say? Uh, Koulibaly. And Koulibaly uh, has a little bit of goalkeeper, uh, has, the, uh, has, has the saves with chest uh, trait um, on his card as well. So, Dreezy Dries. Just doing Dries Merton's things. Can we finish off with another finesse? And we cannot, but uh, that should do it for the match. 149, 150, blow the whistle ref. And there you have it, boys. So we've gotten the games, we've looked at the stats, and now we're getting to that moment where we need to give him a rating. Um, for, again, 165, 170,000 coins, it's not cheap. Koulibaly pretty much is locked into uh, locked into the Serie A. I'm going to go ahead and say 3 out of 5. I want to give it I want to give it close to a 3.5. Uh, he is just, you know, in my opinion, a top five, top seven uh, center back in the game. Um, the stats just, uh, you know, the, the stats just don't lie. You feel super, super confident with him as one of your center backs. Very, very strong. Not the acceleration wasn't as uh, wasn't an issue as indicated there, as showcased there with the uh, run that Rashford had at the end of match number one. Some of us like collecting cards. Some of us like having first owners. Some of us just love the Serie A, and for that reason, you might do it. So I'm going to give it a three and a five out of, uh, in terms of um, in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I'm going to give it a four out of five. I mean, I don't know, my, I don't know how much cheaper we want this Koulibaly to be, to be honest with you. So you know, to prevent everyone from running around with him. You know, if his base card is 65-70, maybe with the 65 total in-game set upgrade, this should be around 140, 150. And then if we're tacking on another 20, which is the price currently, it, you know, I think that probably qualifies as being expensive, uh, not overpriced. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Hopefully this Epi has helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Going to be streaming tonight. I know I said I would yesterday. Going to be streaming tonight. Have my Rivals rewards uh, and going to continue playing some Rivals. Might even wiggle in a few uh, Foot Champs matches early in the morning. But uh, that is going to do it for the Episodia. Smash like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Update.